Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Golden. I'm we're playing Minecraft. We're playing a new adventure map called Unexpected Pass. This was actually recommended to me in my Discord. If you guys want to make other recommendations, you can jump into my Discord and make the recommendations there, or you can post them in the comments below. But let's go ahead and jump into this. Uh, Josh? My name's Josh. You can see at the bottom. Josh, wake up. Turn on bed light. Is that my bed light? Oh, there we go. Honey, what's wrong? I'm not feeling really good. Oh, God! Where, where'd you come from? That was scary. Uh, oh, no. It's the baby. It's time. Oh, she's pregnant? What's going on with my body here? No, Josh, you silly. It's far too soon. You, you silly. You a silly girl. Oh, yeah, you're right. You know, it feels like it's been that long. It's how terrible it is. <laughs> no, no time to discuss. It's not time, but it may still be the baby. Okay, okay, stay calm, honey. Just a bag, some clothes, and we are ready to go. Resist, I'll be quick. Resist? You can't resist these things. Please be quicker. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry, the English is a little bit weird. That's okay. Oh, I'm driving a car. Hey, you should really buckle up. It's not safe. I think I can talk to... Oh, how's it going? Do you feel any better? Yes, I still feel a bit uneasy, though. Okay, we are almost there. Don't worry. These trips are always unexpected, but I'm happy, Josh. We'll be... I thought it was a penis. <laughs> we'll be parents. He's not even paying attention to the road. He's going to hit something. Yes, our life will take a turn. All these issues are annoying, but I'm happy. A new chapter for me. For us. I love you. It means a little bit better dialogue. It sounds really bad. I love you, too. It's a shotgun wedding, guys. I like the driving car scene. That was pretty cool. Okay, where is she? Well, there's the bathrooms. Hold on, guys. I gotta take a quick leak. Oh, the toilet is massive! It's been two years, and she's still being visited. Why is that taking so long? It's not the first time she's been visited for the, uh, things like this. What's so different this time? Uh-oh. Uh, I am too nervous. Maybe washing my face will help calm myself. I guess I was in the right spot. I'm a little nervous. This pregnancy keeps us awake at night. But my life is about to change. For the better. Will I be a good parent? These are actually really things people think about. Arr, I'm worried. But I have Cheryl at my side. Together, nothing will stop us. Anyway, I feel better. Maybe a nurse can give me some updates. Oh, here's the doctor. I should talk with him. Hello, doctor. Good morning, doctor. What's taking so long? How's my wife? I'm sorry you had to wait. Your wife is fine. She's resting, but I need to talk with you. In my study. Please follow me. Teleport. Easy. It's okay. Walking's overrated, guys. Take a seat. What's happening? How's the situation? Your wife had a small hemorrhage. That's scary. Nothing to worry about. She only needs a few days of rest. Okay, but the baby is fine? I'm sorry, your wife had a miscarriage. That's really upsetting. What? Your baby had a very rare genetic defect. Little is known about it, so we couldn't detect it sooner. This can't be. I, Me and my wife... We thought everything was okay. I'm deeply sorry for your loss. I understand how you feel now, but it wasn't your fault. Yes, you're right. Be close to your partner. A miscarriage is never easy to accept. She needs all the support you can give her in this moment. But this is also valid for you. Don't try to repress what you feel. You need someone to talk to. I can give you a list of therapists. Please consider taking an appointment with one of them. Okay, thanks, I will. Is there something else I can do? There's no rush, but you can... Get us some mental, uh, some health documents about your parents. Your wife's genetic history was complete, but I can't say the same for you. We know little about your parents. Weren't you able to obtain more from them? I couldn't. My parents are both dead. I was only able to give their most recent medical record. O only able to get their most... Yeah, whatever. Okay, I understand. Knowing more about your genetic history, it's important. It could really help us. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It won't be easy, but you can recover from this. Take your time to grieve. You should go with your wife now. In the difficult time, you need to spend as much time with each other as you can. Good luck. That took a fast turn for the worst. My wife is huge. Looks like she's in a coffin. Cheryl, love, I'm here. Josh, I'm so sorry. Honey, why are you sorry? Our baby, I failed you, Josh. It's all my fault. No, Cheryl, no. You did nothing wrong. No, Josh. It was my body that decided it didn't want the baby. I wasn't strong enough. Cheryl, 
It doesn't work that way. You're the strongest person I've ever known, and there's no one else I want by my side more than you. Josh, I love you, Cheryl. This won't stop us. I will always be with you, no matter what. This is so sad. Oh, my God. Okay. I guess we're home. My old house has been a long time since I last was here. I think we we're looking for that information. After my parents died, I didn't know what to do with it. I should have sold it long ago. It's cold here. I should turn up the heat with a nice fire. Oh, there's the matches. I like this. Oh, this is cool. Sorry, the interacting is really interesting. Using a fireplace is one of those things I will always enjoy, no matter what. It's one of those things that all make, makes me feel better, even here. Every time I come to this house, memories of my past, when my parents were still here, fill my head. Luckily, when it happened, I was already planning on living on my own during college. At the time, staying here was only painful, but now it feels peaceful. Hmm, the fire has done its job. I should check out my bedroom. Is this your bedroom? Nope. Can't even open that door. Is this bedroom? Oh man, martial arts. Nothing has changed this last time I slept here, or rather, last time I laid here. It was awful. The bed felt like stone, and the night felt endless. Probably because you're on these blocks here. And that I thought it would have never ended for the rest of my life. Never I would have imagined about meeting Cheryl. Who knew sharing tragedies could soothe one another? That's enough. Today I just wanted to check uh, the place out. If I want to find something, I'll have to return tomorrow. Cheryl, I'm home. Hmm, she isn't responding to me. Uh-oh. Cheryl. Cheryl? Okay, she's alive. I thought she was dead. Hi, Josh. Welcome back. Is everything okay? Yes, I've just slept here on the couch for a bit. How was... How went the, sh the search? How did you sleep on this couch? It's made of wood. Made of wood. I didn't really have the time to find anything. I will return there tomorrow. Oh, okay. I want to make some tea. Do you want some? Yes, thank you. I guess I'm making the tea? Oh, here's the kitchen. Alright, tea. Uh, I think I need glasses. Oh, there it is. Got it. Um, this is Cheryl's favorite mug. I hope this tea can make her feel better. Ah, here's the tea. Honey. Oh, we gotta put water in the tea. Oh, I'm so dumb. Mug, it's filled. Now we heat it up. Oh, okay, I just need to wait for a bit. I should find the tea. I'm so dumb. I made tea before. This tea's right here. Alright, I also need honey. The water is ready. I should take that first. Got it. Tea it up. Okay, now I can put everything inside. Do it. I got one. Honey. 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 Okay, maybe maybe it's all good to go. Here you go. How is it? It's good. Just a bit bitter. Oh, you need honey. Cheryl's picky. I tried to put honey in it. Freaking tea. Honey. Oh, give me it back. No, I like it this way. Oh, do you want honey? Okay, sorry. The, it wasn't progressing, so it progressed. I just clicked a lot really quick. No, I like it this way. Thank you, Josh. Okay, cool. So she doesn't like honey. She's a bitter lady. This is my father's studio. It's the last place where I can find something. Oh, we're back at the house. I should look in every drawer and file cabinet. What I'm searching for could be anywhere. Uh, these are all the work tools of my dad. A pencil, a pen, a pencil, an eraser, a calculator, and a bottle of whiskey. It's still a bit full, but I don't know if I'll ever drink it. Hmm, doesn't seem to be much here. Only some old documents. Don't remember this photo. These are my parents, but the couple on the right, the photo is a bit faded. Maybe they are some old friends. Um, looks like that person has a mega afro. It's green though. No, it's a tree, guys. It's a tree. I'm just kidding. These are all photos. Mom was always on the camera and took tons of photos that were promptly developed. Even with the new technology, she always wanted something more material. Well, isn't that nice of her? Whoa, what the? What is, what is going on with this drawer? <laughs> These drawers are filled with souvenirs from holidays. Every summer we visited somewhere new, and every time Dad spent too much money on them. And once home, they always ended up here, never to be seen again. 
<laughs> with their wonky drawers that just topple. <laughs> I think that's really cool, actually. I'm having fun with that. The file cabinet is filled with Dad's papers. He's worked always on the desk. He hasn't really... Uh, he wasn't really active, and Mom always reproached him for that. Here I kept all the research my mother did. She was a brilliant eco uh, ecologist. I owe her my passion for biology. Hmm. I haven't found a single paper that can help me. Maybe there's really nothing of interest. Wait, the desk. My dad once told me that one of the drawers has a secret compartment. Maybe that's the one that's almost empty. This one? Important topics are surely hidden in here. Let's see. Okay, I found it. It was rather easy knowing it. There's a document. Maybe it's what I wanted. Hey, look at that. It's an adoption document. I was adopted. That's my date of birth. Those are my parents' surnames. I can't read this at all. What What does this mean? It means you're adopted, man. <laughs> it can't be. Am I... Oh, that's kind of upsetting, actually. Why, they never told me this. Was I too young? Maybe they wanted to tell me just before they... Passed away, obviously. Who am I? Who are my real parents? I need to know. I should go home. No need to stay here. Well then. I have to calm down. I don't want to worry Cheryl. I shouldn't tell her for now. Shouldn't keep secrets, man. She's not here. Maybe she's upstairs. Honey, I'm home. Cheryl better not kill herself. Cheryl's not in there. Oh, whoa. Oh my god, this sucks. Honey? Hi. We are ready for our child. Yes, we were. We didn't want to know if we were expecting a son or a daughter. So we chose white, a neutral color. Everything was ready, but now everything is its lost. I should have known. No, we didn't have any way to know, uh, to know that it would have happened. I can't stop thinking about it, Josh. Why it happened? Why to us? We we're almost achieving our dream, and now it's almost as if that never happened. Cheryl. Hug Cheryl. I'm trying. Everything will be okay. I'm here for you. And you are here for me. We may have lost our child, but we are together. We need to we need to go forth with our lives. We have overcome many hurdles. We can't stop here. Let's stop thinking about this. We should leave this room. It only does more harm. God, that'd be hard. The back of the house? This is the adoption center showed on the document. This is the only place where I can learn more about my biological parents. Maybe I should be happy. I have a new family to discover. Me and Cheryl have no close relatives left. I've already called this place. One of the employees told me to come here. She wants to talk with me in person. Alright, which door works? Oh, hey, Grandma. Welcome. Are you Josh? Yes, I am. Happy to see you. Take a seat. Boop. Boop. There we go. Thank you for your time. I really need to know more about my parents. It's part of my job. I'm glad to help you. From the document, I found only the name of my mother, Elise. She shares the surname, or Alice, I said Elise. Alice. She shares the surname of the adoptive mother. I guess it was a relative? She was a cousin of your mother. Uh, they were close when younger, but went to another state. It's there that she met your father, and they wanted to marry after she gave birth to you. Why? What happened to them? I'm sorry, your mother died on childbirth. It's okay, I never met her. What about my father? Unfortunately, we don't know a lot about him. After your mother's death, he seems to have disappeared. He barely knew your mother, mother family, and when she died, he cut contact after your birth. So we know only one thing for sure, his name. Really? I need to know. His name was Derek Wilberg. Wilberg. Wilbur! Sorry. Sorry. This is supposed to be serious. I'm going to make a couple of jokes, though. My biological father, is he alive? I need to know at all costs. <sighs> hmm. Where's Cheryl? Oh! <gasps> Cheryl! No! She took drugs! Cheryl, wake up! What happened? Her antidepressants! What did she do? Cheryl, please answer me. Emergency line. What is your emergency? My wife, she's unconscious. She doesn't respond to me. She may have taken too many pills. Please, I need her. I need help. Okay, help is on the way. Don't hang up. Come on, Cheryl. Come on. Please wake up. Please. Wake up. Oh my god, this is terrible. Oh, that was the end of it! 
Thanks for playing the map. After making the original map four years ago, I'm very happy to have finally remade it with a proper ending, but the story has not ended yet. I don't know when that might be, but I hope you see in the next map. In the meantime, right click this sign for spectator mode and fly around. If you look at the guide, I didn't read it before. At the last page, it says seek them. So seek, I mean, it sounds like saying seek them. What? What is this? So am I looking for my parents? I think this is alluding just to the next sequel. So this guy really needs to make a sequel. This was, this was very good. I, I don't know, obviously, I, I think English is a second language or maybe he rushed when he was typing stuff. Um, but I was able to you know, work through the dialogue, but it was a fantastic story. It's actually really sad. <laughs> I expected more, I wanted more, but holy crap. So we're definitely waiting for a sequel on this. This was Unexpected Pass, crazy good. So yeah, guys, definitely try it out yourself and jump onto the Minecraft maps and leave him a comment and say how much you liked it so he actually does make that sequel because we want that sequel. We definitely want it. If you want that sequel, yeah, yeah do it. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. I do hope you enjoyed more, but thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, who's off?